Dear friends, Osho's Vijnana Bhairava Tantra Meditation 52, what it says, when eating, when you are eating or drinking, become the taste of the food. When you are eating or drinking, become the taste of the food. You become the food, become the taste or drinking and be filled, be filled. Let the feeling be filled. Let the feeling be filled. So, dear friends, it is a meditation based on your sensitiveness. What do you mean by sensitiveness? The feelings. See, what we do? Daily we eat, isn't it? Things are going inside. Morning, breakfast, lunch, dinner, in between snacks, cool drinks, juices, what not. All these things are going inside. Have we put, ever put our entire soul on the tongue and tasted the food and eat? We just swallow. We are insensitive. We just eat it up. So, this sutra, this meditation says, whenever you eat anything, feel the taste and be the taste of the food. When you are eating a sweet, let the sweet spread all around your body. You become the sweetness. When you drink a cold water, let the coolness spread all around your body, not only your tongue. Let all your parts of body have the coolness. Feel the coolness. Let all the cells feel the coolness. When you are touching somebody, when you are touching somebody, be the touch. Feel the touch. See, when you are going in a bus, right? And you are going in a train. You are standing in a queue. A lot of people are there. So, your body touches the other's body, isn't it? But do you feel anything? No. Why? Because you have not put yourself in the body. There is no feeling involved in it. In train, hundreds of people are there. You are standing, your body touches the other body. But you have uh, come out of your body. And just, it is the body only touching. There is no feeling involved, isn't it? What happens? The body becomes dead. You give shake hands to somebody. Uh, but do you feel that, uh, are you putting your entire feelings in the hands and touching? Because your touch is considered to be sexual, isn't it? Sexual. It is wrong not to be allowed. But there are also things which you can touch somebody without any sexual feelings. But it is wrongly told told and told that is only meant for sexual touching. So, we touch somebody without any feeling, we eat something without any feeling, we drink something without any feeling, we see something without any feeling, we hear something without your feeling, but here Sutra the concentrates only on eating and drinking. So, you become part of that feeling. Aswad, it is said in Jainism. What is it said? Aswad means what? Don't feel the taste. Once you feel the taste, you become addicted. You know, most of the ashramams, either it is Mahatma Gandhi ashramam or you take Ramana Magrishi ashramam in Tiruvannamalai or take any ashramam wherever you go. All the Hindu religion, Christianity, everywhere, everywhere they say, let the food not be tasty. If you become addicted to taste, if you ta start tasting, you will be become addicted. So, avoid involving yourself in taste. Taste is considered to be desire. Desire means what? You want to, you start living for eating then, isn't it? You start living for eating. So, let the tongue be dead. Eat something for survival. Survival means what? You have to live. So, eat, dump something inside. So, what happens? 
your body becomes insensitive, your body becomes dead because where there is no sense, there is no life. Only in life you have the sensitiveness. So, you become a double personality. What double personality? You should not taste and you should eat. So, you are avoiding. As you avoid what happens? Your personality is split into two personalities. One is avoiding. Voluntarily you are not involving yourself and you are eating. So, one side death and one side it things goes on. So, what happened? No feeling, no sensitiveness, you become dead. So, you are scared about dead, already you are dead in your body, already you are dead. So, you are scared of death. Once you start tasting everything, once you start being sensitive for each and every senses, not only eating, touching, seeing, feeling, then what happens? You become more lively. When you become more lively, you also want to experience death. Death won't come for the people who are living. Death comes for the people who are already dead. So, once you become so sensitive, then what happens? You love to experience even death. So, this sutra says, be, be sensitive. All religion says, do not be sensitive on food or Hinduism especially, Buddhism, Jainism. Jainism says, no, you should never taste, do not get addicted to food. Most of the ashramams, they say, you go, they give what, what they give, not with a lot of masalas or spices, they just give you light food, mild food, just for your survival. So, only Tantra says enjoy and taste and be the taste and become the taste. If it is sweetness, be the sweetness. And also it is given here and be filled. What do you mean by filled? Most of our life we feel empty, emptiness. Walking, morning you feel emptiness. So, here what he says is this emptiness is caused because of not being sensitive on certain things. You are defending against something. Defending means what? You are not going to taste, you are not going to look, you are not going to hear, you are not going to taste. Let me be like a what? Something which you are not that society has taught you. If you become so sensitive, then you become addicted. So, avoid those. So, here the Tantra says, do not avoid. Enjoy. Be as it is and live life with full, with fullness. So, he says, fill it. Fill it. Able to understand this concept? So, our Sandra, Tantra says, be taste, be sensitive. Being sensitive is life, you are living, otherwise you are dead. So, if you are able to sensitize whatever you do, you have life, otherwise you are dead. Dead bodies walking in the streets, be alive be alert. So, here once you understand and start living, even if death comes, you will start enjoy to experience death. If death comes, you will welcome it and you will go to the center and dissolve yourself. Death will take care of it. So, this is the Tantra and what do you understand? So, what do you understand by this uh, philosophy? Uh, could you tell me what do you understand? And what do you do? Are you tasting your food and eating? Good evening, everybody. Uh, today I got a good lesson from this tantra. Normally, I am uh, well around eating in morning uh, and night. I, uh, usually, I will uh, used to watch the TV. 
so my concentrate on the tv only even the scenes or news anything i will watch that one but at that time save i will finish my food also i don't know how many eatlies i had it's going on regularly in lunch time when while in office just we will chat to ours ourselves so the same it's happening now i understand i have to try to taste the food the even the water also i have to taste the water in each and every drops it will be better to our bodies and souls then you become more alert, alert active and alive, sensitive sensitive so in each and every activity you will be start you feel sensitive because your entire soul your entire consciousness entire being you are bringing it to the tongue when the action is going on no we never do that something is going our thought is somewhere thinking about something it is something dumped in without even taste feeling the taste so there is no life in it then without life what is the use isn't it we are dead bodies is yes, what do you understand thank you uh, food is the most important in our life sir so we are the food we are we are the food we taste and enjoy it நீங்கள் மலையாளத்தில் சொல்லுங்க மலையாளத்தில் என்ன என்ன புரியுது மலையாளத்தில் ஓகே திஸ் மாடர்ன் கல்ச்சர் பீப்புள்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி பிஸி அண்ட் தே ஆர் நாட் ட்ரைங் டு டேஸ்ட் த ஃபுட்ஸ் ஃபார் த ஃபார் தி லிவிங் ஷேக் தே ஆர் ஈட்டிங் ஃபுட் ஃபார் வென் தே ஹேவ் டைம் தே ஈட்டிங் அண்ட் they going for their jobs uh, this mantra says uh, taste the food and uh, taste the drink uh, taste the water etc and feel that uh, taste of the food uh, let your cells all, uh, cells to feel the uh, taste of the food and uh, enjoy it so uh, it gives more life to us um, then we will be happy